Hi folks, uh, welcome once again. I'm back on the um, on the main PC for this because I've just upgraded the processor from a Pentium 4, 533 GHz, to a Core 2 Duo E4300 at 1.8 GHz. Picked it up for about £30 off eBay. And uh, knowing that you can overclock these, I thought that that was probably um, a good bargain. And uh, so obviously what I've done is tried to overclock it. Um, it's not done too badly actually. The problem I've got is that this motherboard isn't really an overclocking motherboard. The ASRock 4-core dual SATA 2 is limited. It does support overclocking but can't alter the V-core and things like that. Um, can alter the front side bus speed and you can actually do untied overclocking on it. Um, I've managed to get it up to a bus speed of 240 from 200, so it's now running at, let's have a look, um, 2.16 gigahertz. So we have got some increase, um, but I can't really push it much beyond that. I'm just running a stress test at the moment to see if it's stable at those, but when I try to up the bus speed to 250, then um, it got as far as trying to boot into Windows, and then it didn't and um, anything beyond that and it just doesn't boot at all I did wonder if it was the memory speed and I did try adjusting the memory speed I've only got two options actually um, either uh, 533 or 667 and um, it tends to run at 533 by default even though it is at 667 RAM um, but as soon as I put it at 667 it just doesn't want to boot tried adjusting the memory timings didn't want to know so I'm not too sure what to do about that if anybody's got any suggestions then uh, um, and that'd be great to receive them. But other than that, um, it's not too bad. We've got it running faster than stock. That's not too bad. Temperatures are good. Um, 40 degrees on one core, 41 on another is the real temp temperature on that while running Prime 95. So we're not suffering any temperature issues. So um, it's giving me a little bit more power. And uh, even if I don't overclock this processor, it's certainly faster than the Pentium 4 machine. So um, that's where we are with that. Um, thanks very much for watching.